Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK. And my job on these videos is to give you inspiration for paper crafting projects, mostly cards, I have to say. I'm a card maker. Um, and maybe entice you to buying some products to make these paper crafting product, paper, um, projects. Today I'm making this little Christmas card. I loved making this. It was inspired by Stampin' Up's CEO, um, Sarah Douglas, um, who made a very similar card but with different different stamps and dies. Um, but it was our idea to use the tailored tag punch to um, punch through there. Um, so it's based on an inspired by her but very different um, now I've made several different versions of this card I started out by thinking oh and I have to say on these versions I have used some glimmer paper that was left over from a previous catalog and which is not available now this is sil the silver foil which is in the 12 by 12 silver foil pack that's in the actually going to be retiring I think or is that or oh, might be carrying over I can't remember um, no I can't remember whether the silver foil is carrying over or not I'm afraid um, I will look that up. But I'm using the Christmas tree dies, which go with this stamp set. This is out of stock, I'm afraid. This is now sold out. It was um, on the last chance products lift list. And the Christmas tree dies are the ones that go with it. So it had all these dies, um, plus the two little trees that I've used. I've used, on some of the cards, I've used the big big trees, and on some of the ones I've used the little. So this one I've used the bigger, bigger die, and on this one I've used the smaller die. Um, but I loved these. I bought the whole bundle just because I loved these two little dies. Um, so I'm sorry I'm showing you a project where the um, product is sold out, but you will you might be able to get it when once the catalogue retires. A lot of demos will be selling off their retired things, so you might be able to get it. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to sell mine because I do love these little trees and would like to keep them in my collection really. But it might be that. Um, I do sell it so keep an eye open it will go first of all on my buy one get one free sale so just keep an eye on that on my blog right now like I said I've made them very um, slightly differently the background so this one I used some retired paper from last year I think this was called snowflake wishes or something snowflake from last year's catalog and I put that behind which I quite liked then I decided to do something a bit more current and this is the peaceful place um, DSP that was in this year's catalogue um, and I quite like that I quite like the grey it's got snowflakes and little stars and things that's quite nice a little catch but then I thought oh well I wonder if I because I haven't got this much of this paper left I've used more nearly all that sheet so I thought oh I wonder if I could do something else so I started by stamping now this is a stamp from the snowflake wishes set um, and I've just stamped it randomly and I did start it off I just did this randomly over this um, card and it looks a bit higgledy piggledy so I thought mm, I like it showing through there but I don't like the look inside so what I did was make a template so that there was a round so it would it wasn't all over the place so um, that's what I'm going to show you today like I said you could use a piece of DSP inside there you don't need to do the stamping but I quite like that effect of seeing that and I quite liked how it neatened it up inside so I'm using one of our note cards so these are available in packs of 20 you get 20 cards already scored and you get 20 envelopes with the uh, both in our lovely smooth basic white cardstock which is just great to stamp on so don't be um, tempted to buy other makes because you will be disappointed our basic white cardstock is the base on the market now I haven't done that very well because it's a bit wonky so I'm just gonna do that again right okay so first things first I'm going to put I'm going to draw a line in the centre of this card. Now, it measures just under nine. So I'm going to centre my ruler and mark at four and a half. And again, down here. And this is because I want the punch to punch right in the centre. So I am going to draw a line. And then the two corners on my punch, I can line up with that line. So take your tailored tag punch push it into the card as far as it will go so push it up as far as it will go line up that line in the center and punch and there's your little aperture how easy is that I've never thought of using that as an aperture before but I love it 
I think I might use that again in a different, uh, maybe some spring cards or something. Right, now we're going to take five little Christmas trees. Now, like I said, on most of my samples I just showed you, I used um, glimmer card. But today I thought I would just use, show you how nice it will look with silver. Now, what I'm going to do, that I've cut them out and I didn't do the full length mostly of the of the trunk so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pile them all on top of each other and then I'm just going to trim the trunks down so that they're all the same length so like that and so I'm just going to take my snips and snip them all so they're all the same length and then we're going to glue them and we're just going to glue them at the bottom so that they poke through the Thing. So I'm going to take my Tombow and I think the easiest thing to do is just to put a little bit of Tombow on. This is a Pringles tube. If you're in the UK, this is a Pringles tube lid. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the trunk and the bottom of the tree. And then glue that down there and then to make sure they are all evenly spaced I'm going to do the two furthest side ones next so again a little bit of glue I'm going to do this one so that will be slightly higher than the middle one and again with this one so it's fairly quick to make this little card and like I said if you use DSP in the middle rather than stamping it's even quicker but like I said, I didn't have quite enough DSP to make a whole. I've made made a load of these cards because these are the ones that I'm going to send to to special people in my life, like my sister, a few friends that appreciate a nice handmade card. I can't believe that the other day I met up with a friend and I was talking about, oh, I haven't made all my Christmas cards yet. And she said, oh, do you still make your own cards? I have been sending her a handmade card for I don't know how many years. Now, does she not realise they're handmade? Does she think somebody else makes them? I have no idea. Anyway, so there's my trees. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that over and I'm going to carefully mark with pencil the top part and the sides just so that I can centre where I do the stamping. Now, because I wanted the circle, I did originally use a post-it note. Um, and lined that up like that. What I've done today is I've cut, I've, I've done the same circle, so it's the six centimetre circle from the layering circles dies, and I have um, cut it from a piece of um, cardstock, which I am going to stick down here with a piece of washi tape. And I'm going to, with the washi tape, to get off some of the tack, just put it on your hand and the oils in your hand will reduce the tack so it will still stick but it won't tear the paper when you want to remove it. Right, I'm going to just turn it round because I just find it easier to stamping that at the bottom and then I'm going to come in with smoky slate and the little, the little stamp from the snowflake wishes and we're just going to fill this circle in. So I need to turn the stamp around and just fill in all the spaces and just make sure you're not going over. You know, if, you, if you're using a post-it, why I decided not to use the post-it because it had a very narrow border around it and it was very easy to come over the edge. So I thought this way I could have a bigger border if I used a bit of very thin cardstock. You could use paper. So, so I'm just twisting the stamps around to fill in all those spaces. Like so. Like that. And then when you remove it, you've just got a circle of snowflakes, which just peek through, which I quite like. Now, when that has dried, I'm not going to attempt it now. And when it's dried, I will just rub out those, those pencil marks. You can hardly see them, but I will remove them. Now, the last thing we need to do is the greeting. The greeting is once again 
Oh, where's my snowflakes? We should set. Here we go. I have used this one stamp from this set so much and it is the Merry Christmas from Snowflake Wishes for America. I love this, Mer just this Merry Christmas. I cut my stamp up, as you will know. So I've just got it on its own um, and I've used it so, so much. Now, I know a lot of people don't like cutting their stamps up, um, but I don't have any such problems with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to take my embossing buddy if you don't have one of these this is to stop all the stray um, specks of embossing powder sticking to your cardstock as you heat emboss right so I'm taking the Merry Christmas I'm going to do it fairly near the bottom while I'm at it I'm going to do three because I'm going to make a couple more of these cards in a minute so I'm just going to do three because that will save me some time also means if I mess one up, I've got a couple of spares. Right, and then I just need my silver embossing powder. Like so. You can see I've got a little bit of embossing powder there that has stuck. I obviously missed that with my embossing buddy. So what I will do is I will bring in a tiny paintbrush and just try and remove without removing the bit that I want. There we go, that's fine. So you just need a little thin paintbrush to do that. And then just turn on your heat gun. Let it warm up and then direct it at the paper, at the card. And as it heats, the magic will happen. This was one of the first stamping techniques I ever learned and it's still one of my favourites. I just think it's amazing how you can get these lovely, shiny, embossed, raised images by doing this. I still think it's fairly magical. There we go. Right, okay. And then we're going to bring in our trimmer. cut I'm going to make sure this is straight I make sure this cuts straight hoping that's all right just trim off oh that looks good actually and then another one the other side there we go and then you've got your Merry Christmas it's not quite straight actually looking at it but um, so I might try another one. That's what I said. That, um, so I might try another one. Let's try and line it. So you can see the line of the stamping there. So just move it out a bit. And hopefully that will be straight. And then this one is the one that I need to just make sure I've got this one straight as well. Oh, that is better. That is much better doesn't particularly matter that the other one isn't quite straight you can stick it on so that the writing is straight and I don't think that would notice and so this just last of all goes at the bottom here and that's very very simple little card but I love it I mean you all know that my style is clean and simple and I've just loved making this little card and it's my the, I think it's my favorite make of Christmas this year this one so anyone out there watching, if you receive one of these cards, you'll know that you're one of my favourite people. Sadly, I can't afford to do it for everybody. So I've got a few friends, a few close friends and family members that will be getting one of these. Right, that's it for today. That's me done. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use my code. Um, I had it out this morning and now I've lost it. It is, uh, where have I put it? Nope. I'm piled up. I, I don't even tell you what's piled up this side of my desk. Um, but my code is D76EQNDC for this month. And everybody who orders will be getting a, um, a 
free calendar which is I've got blank pages for you to decorate yourself so that's a really nice gift I think this month um, so anyway that's it from me today thanks so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already to my channel I would love to get up to 5,600 subscribers um, quick quite soon in the new year so you'd be helping me to do that that's it from me today thanks for watching have a wonderful day bye